Okay. Let's play on on Eternal Torment. Eternal Damnation. I think God is perfect. Absolutely everything about him. I love his holiness, his love especially. I'm entertaining doubts about a lot of stuff with the Old Testament. And I'm being strict and when doubts as the red of his real because, you know, His, the laws he gave at the very beginning of the Bible do not seem to reflect uh, all knowingness. Example, what I, when I mean, uh, for example, if a woman committed adultery, she was to be stoned, even if she was pregnant. Because God, why didn't, if God, do ever, if God does everything and he does, why didn't he tell her? Why didn't he protect the unborn baby, baby in the womb? Why did Why didn't he let it be known that that baby was a human being back then? Now it can be argued that you know David in the Psalms talked about when he was being in iniquity, he was behold, I was shaped in iniquity and sin and the sin that my, my mother conceived me. And he does a song where he talks about being created in secret in the womb. And John the Baptist being filled with the Holy Ghost in the New Testament from the womb. But when he, before he was born, when he was in the womb. But, you know, I don't know that. Oh, I so badly want to believe in the Exodus and that there was really a Moses and there, a burning bush. Even C.S. Lewis doubted whether the story of Noah's Ark was actually history or just a true myth, expressing the desires of our heart, and whether the creation, and he even admitted the creation story was based upon early Sumerian texts. But anyways, everything about God is absolute perfection except eternal damnation. To me, that puts a blot on his love and omnip and all powerfulness. Why can't he come up with a way to save the damned and even the devil and his angels in the end? But this man in this video right here has a beautiful theory. I want you to listen to this video. I don't agree with this man about his theology. I'm one. I don't believe he met the real cross in his near death experience. But I believe he is saved. But anyways, anyway. But, okay, if God, if sin is, uh, the reason sin has eternal consequences is once you commit a sin, you cannot uncommit it. Eternally, a tear, e, e, if you live forever and ever afterwards, you cannot uh, uh, undo the fact that you committed that sin. But yet, God created death so that he could kill sin and could forgive sin. Why is this? This man says, "Can't the devil, his angels, the wicked, and hell, everything about them be annihilated except their consciousness, and the consciousness be reformed in the new entities that has absolutely no connection or memory to who they were." In other words, the devil will be annihilated. But the person, the consciousness of the devil, whoever that was, would be recreated into a new being, having absolutely no memories of being the Lucifer of the devil. And no one in, he in heaven would know. I don't know. I, I just think, it, to me, it puts blight on God's love and all powerfulness that he cannot save the damned. That he cannot see that, that that every form of life has a happy ending in worship of him. And totally devoted to God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. 